This video is for educational purposes only and only competent persons should attempt this repair. Hi, this is Bill for Sparky Channel. Today I'm going to show you how to fix a three-way switch system. A three-way switch system is composed of two three-way switches that can control a light or a group of lights. So our situation here is that we turn that on and it goes on and off and it goes off and on. And we go over here, it operates properly and we go over here, whoops, it doesn't work now. And now we turn this this way and now it works. And now this doesn't work. <laughs> so this is a three-way switch system that has something wrong with it. And so I am a licensed electrical contractor and I've fixed this many times professionally. So I'm gonna share with you my method for uh, fixing this situation and getting it to work right. The first thing we're going to do is test out this voltage sensor and there you go. That's our test to make sure it's working correctly. See the lights on so there has to be electricity going through this cable. So that shows that this is working properly. And the next thing we're going to do is a very important step and we're going to turn off the circuit breaker. So these are screwless wall plates. You can't see any screw on the outside. And the way you take them off is, is there's a little uh, indentation right here. You put your flathead screwdriver in there and it just pop right off. Okay, I'm gonna take my voltage sensor again. I'm gonna double check and make sure there's no electricity in these boxes. Okay, with the circuit breaker off, I've pulled out both of these three-way switches and I'm gonna double check and make sure everything's off. First thing you do is you, you double check to see that they are indeed three-way switches. This one has a black common terminal, a green grounding terminal, and on this side it has two brass terminals that are your traveler wire terminals. So we've seen that it is a three-way switch. If you have a toggle switch type three-way switch, one thing you'll see right away is that there's no marking for on and off. And then you turn it around. This has a little different configuration. Uh, here's your two brass terminals that are for your traveler wires. And here is your black common screw. You check on both switches. Okay, here's your, your black common terminal. And here's your two brass terminals right here that are for your traveler wires. And normally traveler wires are red and black. So that's correct, at least color-wise. And this is correct, at least color-wise. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna remove these switches and we're gonna do some tests. Okay, I'm removing all the wires from both of the switches. I have removed both of the switches and I have found that both of the boxes have two black wires and one red wire and one green ground wire. So that's proper. We have enough wires. There was just some problem in wiring. To tell you the truth, it doesn't matter what the problem was in wiring because we're going to rewire it. So that's my method. You take it apart and you just rewire it and it, you'll save yourself a lot of time. Nine times out of ten, you'll save yourself a whole lot of time and effort and problems. For the next step, I have put wire connectors on all of the wires for safety. Then I turned on the circuit breaker. So the circuit breaker is on right now. I'll take my fluke voltage detector that we have tested out to make sure it works. And I'm looking for a live wire. Now that live wire is going to be, oh, here it is right here. There's only one wire that's gonna be live. And that's this one right here. We call that the line wire. I'm gonna take a piece of red tape. So this is the line wire right here. It's the only one in both boxes that's hot. So I'm gonna take a piece of red tape I'm going to put it on the line wire and I'm going to write line on it right there. So here's your line wire. 
So that means that these two wires are traveler wires. That eliminates this as a traveler wire. If it's a line wire, it's not a traveler wire. So we have two traveler wires. If you need to know more about traveler wires, you can watch my video on how to wire a three-way switch system. But out of the three wires, you have a line wire, and then automatically the other two are, are traveler wires. Okay, so now we're gonna find the traveler wires over here. The next step is very important. We're gonna turn off the circuit breaker. Okay, the circuit breaker's off, and now we test the line wire and see the electricity's off. So that's like a double check. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in a meter. This is my Fluke 117 electrician's meter. I'm gonna turn the meter to continuity right here. We've determined that these are the traveler wires. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna hook these two traveler wires together. Now this is, remember, this is with the electricity off. So now we're gonna go over here, I'm gonna take off all these wire connectors. So I've got these two hooked together and with the meter on continuity, I'm going to look to see which ones over here are these two traveler wires. See, this travels over to this box and it's a red and a black, so that's a hint for us. So I'm gonna go ahead and put an alligator clip on one of the reds and on one of the blacks. I'm not hearing any continuity, so let's try this one. Okay, there it is. All right, so these two wires are these two wires. Okay, so we'll get that out of here. All right, so these two are the traveler wires. That means that this is the load wire. If this is the line wire that brings the electrical energy into the box, these two are traveler, that means that these two are traveler wires we just did a continuity test that shows that uh, these two wires are these two wires. That means that this is the load wire that goes to the light. So I'm going to put a, a yellow piece of electrician's tape on this and I'm going to say load. Line, ground, traveler wires, ground, traveler wires, and load wire. So I'm done with the meter. That's all I need with the, for the meter right now. These are the two three-way switches. Uh, check and make sure this both switches have two bronze terminals and a black common terminal. And it's important you put them the right way up. It says top right here and down at the bottom there is a self-grounding clip. So we're going to go ahead and wire these now. Okay, I like to uh, crimp the wire around the terminal and then tighten it down real well. Okay, so that's our ground wire. And now I'm going to take our traveler wires and it's my preference to put the red traveler wire on the top. And I'll do that for both switches. Okay, that's the red traveler wire. It's very nicely secured. Okay, that's the black traveler wire. It's nicely secured. All right, this is the line wire that we uh, tested and found the line wire. Okay, that's nicely secured. Okay, so, so crimp the ground wire around the terminal. and secure it well. <clears throat> then this is your load wire that goes to the common terminal. This is the top right here. So I always put the red traveler wire on the top. That's what I put over here. So I'm gonna do the same thing over here, top and top. <clears throat> okay, so here's our black traveler wire and I'm gonna go ahead and put that to the lower traveler bronze terminal. Okay, and now this is our load wire. 
it goes to the light, it's a load wire. Okay, the load wire goes to the black common terminal. So let's take a look at this. We got the line wire going to the black common terminal on this, on this side. We have the load wire going to the black common terminal for this switch. Line and load. And on this side we have the traveler wires. The red going to the upper terminal and the black going to the lower terminal. So see it's identical. We got red, black, red, black. If you wanted to uh, switch it, it would work. Like if this was black and this was red, as long as there are traveler wires, it would actually work. That uh, This is my preference. And uh, I'll show you the, the sequence that this makes for later. I think it's a more logical sequence as far as turning on and off the three-way switches. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put black electrician's tape around both of these switches for safety. I've put on the backing plates for both of the switch boxes uh, for screwless wall plates and you just put them on like that. So there you go. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is turn on the circuit breaker and we're going to see how it works. Okay, this is proper. See, we have both of these depressed on the bottom. It's on both depressed on the top it's on and anything else okay this is both both depressed on the bottom that's on anything else it's off see so on on off on off on on off <laughs> so you can uh, walk into a room turn on the light uh, walk over to the other side of the room Turn off the light and go your merry way. So there we go. We've fixed a three-way switch problem. And the problem actually was in each of the boxes, the black wires were mixed up. The line wire was going to the traveler terminal. And the traveler wire was going to the common terminal. And the same thing over here, except uh, the load wire was going on the traveler terminal and the traveler terminal was going on the black common screw. So it doesn't matter what the problem was, but that was the problem. See, you turn off the circuit breaker and you check and make sure that you do have three-way switches. Then you find the line wire on whichever box it's in. You find that line wire and over here we found the line wire and we knew that the other black and red were traveler wires. So then we hook those together and over here we found with the meter, with a continuity test, we found the traveler wires over here. And by process of elimination, we found the load wire, which is the wire that goes to the light. So then we're able to uh, wire them correctly. This video hasn't been sponsored by anybody. So I just used what I felt was the very best of each tool and device. I'll put links in my video description for the Fluke 1AC voltage detector, the Fluke 117 electrician's meter, the Fluke meter hanging kit, the Leviton Decora Plus spec grade rocker three-way switches, the DeWalt 12 volt max impact driver, the Weha number two 1000 volt insulated Zeno driver which fits the Leviton terminals perfectly, Wago lever nuts, the DeWalt cable stapler, Kinepex electrical insulation pliers, and 8 inch diagonal cutters. And last but not least, the Carlin light and fan box. Thanks for watching.